I, I think. Um, if you can do 185, we, uh, you got a deal. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My hearing aid's a little loose here. <laughs> it comes from a lifetime spent in bars as my youth, man. I can't help it. But I, I thought I heard you say we'd have a deal. Is, is that right? Yes. And stop stealing my shit, will you? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just. I'm just borrowing. There you go. There you go. Um, let's go. Let's do another. Let's do another one here. Uh, who do I have a volunteer before I pick somebody? Somebody raise their hand or wants to wants to have some fun here. Nobody. I have a question about that last role play. Go ahead, Myra. Um, do you like? I'm just thinking. Like, can you stall before you agree to to lowering the price right away? A great question. It's called "you can fix it later" rule. When you're talking to somebody who brings up a stall or an objection. Or can you do a better price, Ms. Novak? Mm -hmm. And you say, well, so you use a hypothetical word. I'm really glad you asked this question. It's excellent. Use a hypothetical word. Suppose I could give you a lower price. Um, imagine for a moment I could give you a lower price. What would you say to me next? And I'm getting, see, do you see, I'm getting what we call a tentative commitment. I'm not saying I can. Did you hear that legal garbage words they teach me in law school? Those hypothetical words. Now, I, I didn't say I will do it. I said, what suppose. if, suppose, imagine, what if we could do it? Okay. You got to be acutely listening for these words that people, when people use those wishy-washy words, what are they really saying, Myra? No. I'm not sure. They're really saying, I, I, I'm i not making a commitment. I want an escape door here. I want a fire escape. I just want to find out more. So what you're saying, what you're saying to the prospect is, uh, if we could do that, what would you say to me next? Prospect says yes, like Sean just did in the role play. Then, but you know, you can't do it for 185, but at least you got a commitment from that person. Okay, so you know they're serious. You know they have the money. Mm -hmm. You want 200, they want 185. Now you go into negotiation mode. Say, okay. you know what, Sean? Uh, you know what, Myra? I would love to do, I would love to do 185, but we, we actually lose money if we do it that. I'll tell you, but you're a good person. I want to I wanna do business with you today. Could we split the difference? And see, you want 185, I want 200. Could we uh, do 192.5, for instance? And on top of that, I'll pick up the closing costs. Suppose I made you that offer, Ms. Novak. What would you say to me next? I mean, I, I think splitting the difference might work out. Which means? That I'll definitely consider it. Consider it now or five years from now? I'll consider it now. Which means, and then what would you like us to do next? Uh, to move forward with the paperwork. So if I send you the paperwork in the next hour through DocuSign, you can get it back to me this afternoon so I can contact the attorney in escrow and get you into this beautiful house that you desperately need. Are we on the same page? Yes. What? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I had to take, Sean taught me something that taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Give her a round for that one. That was a good one. So it's the, you can fix it later. We want a commitment first, even if we know we can't do the deal, the price is ridiculous or anything. Let's paint, you know, the expression, paint yourself into a corner. Mm. You ever hear that? So if they bring up something crazy, well, I need, I need a house with four bedrooms. Well, if we had a, if we have a, I got to check, but if we could provide you with a house with four bedrooms, that isn't something you'd want to <laughs> act on today, is it? I'm a Okay. Someone's got background noise again. Philip, why is it always you? <laughs> okay. Um, you, so you, you get that commitment and then you fix it. You, re you get into negotiation phase. And that's so all you, and that's all so you, you have get to them, do. You get them to commit and then you start negotiations right away. R right away if okay. you have that commitment. But what happens if they obfuscate, they change the subject, they ask another question or they backpedal? Well, I don't know. I have to check my finances, uh, Myra. You know, that's a 185,000 is a lot of money. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to call the bank and stuff like that. What does that tell you right away? They're not serious. 
They're not serious or they don't have the money. So do you have to spend 45 minutes on the phone? Do you have to answer all their questions? If you can't get that simple, they brought up the problem and now they're backpedaling. What's a better word than backpedaling? I use obfuscation, but is there a better word, guys? Backpedaling or backing out? Backing out. Thank you. Yeah. You know, they brought up the problem. You're ready to solve the problem because you did should, could, imagine or whatever. And now they're they're backing out of it. They're backing out of that question. This is how you close people, by the way, in a lot of cases. Mara, as long as I got you and you were so brave to volunteer, 